What's up guys? Max here and welcome back to another tutorial. Now in today's tutorial we'll be going over Photoshop and inside of Photoshop we'll be going over the Exposure X plugin that you can download online. And when I say online, go to Alien Skin Software, which is just alienskin.com and look up Exposure X or just Google it, whatever works. Now you can download the free trial, which is a 15 day free trial, which is plenty of time to get familiar with the software and if you enjoy it, feel free to buy it. It's $150. After that, you're ready to go. So, jumping back into Photoshop, as you can see, I already have something kind of made here. And if we turn it on and off, you can see what I did. It's got this glassy looking effect with scratches on it and it took me all of 30 seconds to make this, which is really awesome. And if you're wondering where I got these photos, it is from a previous video that I did about Lightroom, about importing, developing, and exporting photos in Lightroom. So if you want to learn a little bit about Lightroom, there's a link in the description. Click on it, go for it. So let's get started. Here are the photos that I exported from Lightroom. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. So when you have Exposure X installed, it's really easy. You can click on Filter, scroll down to Alien Skin and click Exposure X. Once you do that, Exposure X will pop open and here it goes. It is separate, basically separate software that opens up and um, has tons and tons of filters inside of it. And on the right side, as always, there's the color effects, kind of like Lightroom but there's a couple more options to choose from. Now, once you open up Exposure, you can kind of readjust it before you want. At the very top here, there's a before option, so you can see before and after of what's going on. And then there's the presets. Right now, it's set to the preset that I kind of created for this photo, but if you want, you can just kind of go through all the presets on your own and check them out. Now, we can make these thumbnails a little bigger so we can see what's going on. This nice black and white preset. It is a Ilford XP2 Super 35 film looking thing, I think. If you want, you can um, set your presets or filter the presets through color, black and white. Your favorites. I don't have any favorites set. I kind of know what I go for. Um, let's jump down to cross processing and just go through them. This looks kind of cool. Long Aga film. I like the color and boom it's a filter kind of like Instagram where you can just apply a filter obviously you can get really custom but that is exposure how cool is that um, I really enjoy this software but let's jump in and actually make it a little different so I like this filter what's going on here I think we can make it a little cooler so when we say cooler not temperature wise we can add some stuff to it so I really like the overlays. Um, on the right side of the software, there's the overlay tab where you can add in light effects and textures and stuff like that. So let's add in a light effect, click the little checkbox, and boom, this little burn at the bottom of the, the, the image has been created. Now we can open up these light effects and scroll through all kinds of different options. There's side stuff. That looks pretty cool. A full, it's a little bit too much, sun flares. That's pretty nice. Looks like there's rays coming from behind her. An overall glow. The tree rays. That's pretty neat. I think we'll go back to the corner, which was just the default. If I click off, it'll go back. I like this burn at the bottom. Now we can add a texture. There's dust. All kinds of stuff if we scroll down. Looks pretty good. Fungi wash, image wash, scratches. The scratches are always cool. Scratches 9 looks pretty good. You can see it right here. Now if we scroll down, there's the bokeh, which is basically a blurry edge. So when you click on bokeh, it automatically pops open this little circle right here, which is the bokeh to edge. And on your presets, you can drop down the little thing right here, creative aperture. Let's go to heart. I'm literally just guessing as we go. Let's do motion, zoom at 50%. Nah, spiral. That looks kind of cool. Let's do spiral 
And what we can do is actually grab this and adjust it to her face, squeeze it in to this part of her face, and you can make the bokeh bigger so it's less of an effect. Same thing ha happens when you change the amount and stuff like that. Now let's scroll up. And let's go to vignette. Let's go to a preset, distortion, large lumps. Maybe it's a little too much. Let's not add a vignette. And boom, once you're done with your filter, you've picked something that you enjoy. You have something over here that you like, you click apply. And what it does is it creates a new layer with your filter. And exposure X cross processed, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, just to remind you, you need to click on this layer that you want to affect and then hit filter um, alien scan exposure X and make it happen. And here's the other one we did. So it's all these cool different layers of doing stuff. Really simple and easy to use. Now, let's find a different photo to play around with. This one looks pretty cool. What I like to do when you open up a new photo, um, when you drag it into Photoshop, it creates a new composition basically and then locks the background, hit background. What I like to do, that is seems a little more professional in my opinion, is I like to double click the background, brings up this little box, layer one, we'll call it pass one, as in our first pass, and it unlocks the background. Now it's just an image on the screen. What I'll do is I'll right click the layer and I'll do convert to smart object, which basically makes it a composition, just like in After Effects. And from there you can do a lot of things. You can go to filter, camera raw filter, and open up something like a camera raw filter. Yes, this is not a raw image, it is a JPEG, but it treats it as a raw image. You can change the exposure, change the contrast, change your clarity, change all kinds of stuff. We can go into the saturation of the blue channel or the hue and change the blue to more of a purple. Saturation. Dumb it up. Do this. Let's say we really like this. Click OK, we're ready to go. That's a camera raw filter. Or the this is a smart object. What's really awesome is when you do this smart object and you go to filter alias can exposure X, it will not create a new layer when you're done, it'll just make it a filter. You can turn on and off on your original image, which is really helpful. As always, it's got the preset of what we just did before, of what we created, and we wanna change it. So we'll scroll up through the presets and find something that looks pretty cool. This looks very faded, very Instagram-y. As we know, it's very hip and cool nowadays to have a faded image in Instagram but we're gonna find something completely different. And if you're wondering who this person is as I'm going, this is Jaylene Silver. She is a YouTuber. Um, she has a new fashion and makeup channel. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. But she's a lot of fun, really cool person. Feel free to check her channel out and go. And this looks pretty cool. Tri-Color Cinema or Technicolor Cinema. Let's click this. We'll star it to put it into our favorites. There's one of our favorites. Scrolling up. Oh, I'm all set on color. Let's go to black and white. All these really awesome black and white filters to play around with. This one looks really serious. I like this. It's fierce. That's what, they, they, what the kids are calling it these days. Fierce. We'll play around with this. And what I'll do, scroll down to uh, Bokeh, find something really cool to put on this. We'll adjust it to her face real quick, something like this. Then we'll go to preset, we'll go to traditional lenses, Canon 85mm f1.2, zoom out. Let's make this a little bigger wide it out a little bit, move this over, and click apply, because I like the way this looks. Now what it's going to do is 
load a filter inside of our smart filter. We can turn it on and off. Turn off the camera raw filter. It will change exposure on the fly because it's, you know, levied. So uh, camera raw gets affected and the exposure gets affected. Really, really cool. What else we can do is we can drag this down to the duplicate right here and we can jump back into exposure by double clicking exposure on our pass one copy layer which I'll rename to pass two when I get a chance we'll scroll up to our favorites to remember that old one we liked under cinema technicolor we'll get rid of the texture we'll add a lighting effect something let's do something crazy Yeah. Oh, streaky. That's what's up. Move the opacity down to 33. Streaks on our hair. Looks like there's a little bit of grain right now. We can turn the grain off by switching this little switch. See the grain? Although we love grain. Grain's amazing. We want to turn it off. We'll go to bokeh. I love me some bokeh. Canon 85 millimeter as yet again or we can go to creative aperture circles see what that does scroll down to plus it's kind of neat star we'll go with star for what what the heck why not and yeah click apply boom we have a new filter it looks pretty intense and just Within seconds, we have a really cool, you know, effect. You can save this out, pop it on Instagram, you're ready to go. Boom. But that's Exposure X in a nutshell. Really simple plugin to use for Photoshop. It's amazing with editing photos. I really enjoy it. It really helps a lot. You can add multiple filters as you go. You can jump back in here under Exposure X and go to another filter if you're really crazy about it and put another filter inside the smart filter to affect what you've already created we can go to color black and white no clue what I'm doing but we're going for it and yeah just kinda of play around download this download the free trial have fun there's a lot to do in this software jump through all of these settings preview them as you go oh, this looks crazy let's turn the texture off um, Turn this down. Or this this looks intense. But yeah, see, there's there's all kinds of stuff. This looks nice. Try to probably turn the vignette off. That looks good. Hit apply. It's gonna put another layer of exposure in here. That's why I like to do smart filters because it seems more advanced in some way. But yeah, overall, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a uh, exposure rex for Photoshop. As always, I'm Max. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Check out my film tech stuff. I try to keep that going, talking about some cool technology that I use for film. And I like to do my tutorials. And in the future, I'll be releasing some content-based videos that are not about me, but about other people and what they do in their daily lives. Just to give you a little hint, I'm doing a user experience video with a really cool friend of mine. And if, we don't know what, if you don't know what user experience is, please subscribe to my channel. And in a week or two, you'll see the video that comes out on my channel. And hopefully, you will really enjoy it. But other than that, I'm Max. As always, go download Exposure X, play around, have some fun, and make some really awesome photos for Instagram. Because we all love filters. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> Yet again. Peace, guys. Thanks again.